Hello, in this video we'll be covering copying and pasting parts of a model as well as saving and loading the model to um, XML file. To begin I'm just going to create a an object here, extrude it out, and to copy these lines we first select them and then we can do Shift C to copy them and then shift V to paste them into the scene and they will be pasted into the scene relative to the distance that they were copied so if I'm over here and I do a shift V they'll be pasted into the scene like that and once we've got a part uh, that we want to save uh, the parts that it will save are everything that's selected or currently active and the active part is shown with a black outline and I can create a new part right now just by clicking on the add new part button and you'll notice that one has lost its black outline and we can create a new one here like so and this is now the currently active part to select the parts we can hold down the hotkey double click they turn blue and I can now save these parts to file so it'll ask me for a new name and we'll just give it a name and the boxes have been saved and now if I clear the lines switch parts okay it's just letting me know that this action cannot be undone but that's okay because we've saved them click on load double click there and we've got our parts. On the parts page here it actually shows us which parts uh, are currently in the scene and we have two that have 12 lines and one that has zero. We can safely delete this one here because it's empty. So we've removed that one. We've got two parts. We can switch between them by double left clicking. We have to be on the edit page to do that double left click to switch between the parts that we're working on and I can continue to edit this one like so and then I can switch back to this one and edit that one also on the parts page we can select between the different objects by ticking the box next to its uh, name here. We can also change its name within the text field here. And if you need to temporarily hide an object from the scene you can do so here. This is useful if you're working on the inside of a house and you need to hide the roof so that you can see inside it without actually deleting that part. And if we go back to the edit page here and we select the object you'll see the name has appeared next to the selected object. We can duplicate these selected parts by entering values here and I'm going to duplicate them 10 in the X and we, once we've entered the values here we can click duplicate and they have shifted 10 over I'm just going to delete these parts now. Create a very simple object. Select it and we'll choose, let's say, 45 degrees. Turn that off. Now when I duplicate it'll rotate 45 degrees around the Y, around this pivot point. And by using the increments here, scale, rotation and position, you can get some very interesting effects like the spiral staircases and, and other effects. In the next video we'll discuss uh, saving to mesh and saving to prefab and then we'll get on to the next page which is called blueprints and show you how to load and work with blueprints. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.